let's say that instead of doing a select query, we want to actually insert some data into the database. We need to set up a different kind of query. We could run several copies of the same query using different strings if we wanted in order to put more than one record into the table. Another way of doing this is to set up a query that contains a placeholder. Now the placeholder in this case is the value that we're inserting into the database and we mark that with a question mark. When we come to actually prepare our statement handle we do this in a very similar way but I'm going to call our statement handle insert this time to denote what it's actually doing. This is not the literal piece of SQL that we're going to run on the database management system. Instead, we're going to use this placeholder like a kind of variable which will be able to be changed when we actually go to execute the piece of SQL. Let's set up some different values that we can insert into our table by setting up an array here in our Perl script. There are some recording artists in our array and if we loop over our array we can carry out several queries by using the execute method of the DBI module and by calling that through the insert statement placeholder and we're going to carry out our execute here with an extra argument before we carried it out with no arguments at all but by using the default variable which is going to be each element in turn of the artist array we're able to specify what we're going to replace this placeholder with if we save our script and make sure we're saving it to the right place then move over to our FTP client and upload the script again then we're now able when we run our script through our web browser to add some records into the database if we go to our telnet window here we can log on to the database server and check the results that we've just put into the database now this is very system specific things that I'm carrying out here you may want to do different procedures to check the data within the particular database management system that you're running as you can see the last three records there are the records that we just added so we've been able to add data into our database by using a statement handle that was able to be modified every time we executed it by using a different value as the argument to the execute method and then replacing the placeholder here in the SQL string that we fed to our DBI module. So the DBI module allows us to process our data in very flexible ways. These are the basic elements that you'll need in order to get productive with Perl and databases. If you want to get further into using databases in Perl, I suggest that you look further into learning some SQL so that you can become much more sophisticated with your database interactivity. If you haven't learned SQL before, then there are a wide variety of different means to get into it. And also, as I mentioned earlier in the chapter, the virtual training company offers some titles which could help with that.